It's April 2nd, 2013. Um, so we'll bring you in the back area. Show you the back. Show you that no one's here. It's closed. I just want to show you something. I want to show you all these racks. See all these racks? Um, I'm going to document all these meat racks today. Stand back here and show you something. Stand back here. I'm going to show you this rack right here. I'm going to show you one rack at a time. But I'm going to show you quick and fast today. I have a tub full of steaks. Um, one thing about these steaks, they're, they're not covered up well. Anything can uh, contaminate these steaks. Um, as far as bacteria or anything, I could actually touch it with my bare hands. It, has, it, um, it says 4113. So that means that it's been sitting back here since yesterday of April Fools. Um, this is not a joke. This is real life. Today's April the 2nd. Put that one over there. Um, this don't count because it had hammers on it. Um, let's count this one. Let's check this one out right here. Um, again, I was told meat put be cut fresh daily. Fresh, cut fresh daily every single day. I'm going to show you this right, right here. The infamous shoppers. Uh, barbecue pork. The season. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six trays. All six trays have no dates on them. So this meat right here could have been cut yesterday on April the 1st. It has no date on it. Um, it could have been cut March 31st. And it still has no date on it. Um, I'm not sure what date they will put on here. I'm not sure the correct policy for that. On that I do know and what is relevant is that meat put be cut fresh daily every single day. And by you not knowing when they cut this meat, you don't really know what date that they're gonna put on this meat. So they could put April the 16th on this meat. They could they they, they could play with this date as much as they can because we don't know and I don't know where this pork came from. All I know is that it has no date on it sitting back here. This doesn't count because this is pre-wrap. Um that's um smoked meats. Smoked meats doesn't really count because it's all a pre wrap The boxes up there, they have dates on those boxes. Just as well as these boxes right here, where it says pig feet. They have dates on expiration dates. But that pig, that barbecue pork, um, that, that, that they will take those. I say I have a pack like this. I say I have a pack like this, this, this pork pack. But I say like this pork pack is running close to its expiration date. They will take it out of there and they'll dump it in that season. And they'll wrap it up and just as you... It's just as um, I just shown you on that tray, they wrap it up, but they won't date it until the next day. I'm gonna give you another rack that has pork on it. Um, it's not barbecue pork, but it has dated on it. It says April the fifth. Again, I was told that meat pork be cut fresh daily, daily. Um, again, at the top it says April the fifth on these products. April the fourth on that one right here. Um, meat pork be cut fresh daily. Not saying that. Oh yeah, we're gonna cut 10 pounds of pork yesterday. And we're only going to sell six pounds. So the other four pounds that we cut up, we're going to sell today. No, I was told that meat pork be cut fresh daily. Every single day, that shopper's policy, that they cut their meats daily. I'm showing you right now a clear work of them not cutting their meat daily. Them saving time and cutting meat the day before. Um, that's another rack. Um, I have two more racks to go, so be patient with me. I have a beef rack right here. You know, I still have a beef rack. I'm going to show you this beef rack. Um, dated. So obviously it must have been cut up yesterday. Because it's dated. Um, the closest, the latest day I see on is the 5th. Uh, that says April the 4th. You can actually see the 4. Even though my camera upside downwards. Um, on this one too, I said April the 4th. Again, meat is probably, oh, these are the packs of meat from yesterday. Or it could have been, not from yesterday. It could have been, remember the packs of meat I showed you from yesterday? It was four in total, four or five in total. And they had no dates on them. Um, right now, I'm only seeing two so far. Um, they could have put the ones out from yesterday. They, they could have put those out, dated them up, put them out. I have two more packs sitting right here with no dates on them. So, so I'm just assuming that these are the packs from yesterday. But who am I to say? Assumption is not my friend. Um, have another pack of steaks with dates on it. It says April the 5th. Again, meat is supposed to be cut fresh daily, every day. Shoppers have a policy where meat is cut fresh daily. Um, if you go to a, a, a restaurant, um, they're not going to cut you a meat, you know, from two days ago. You know, you go to a nice steakhouse, they're going to cut you that meat fresh. You know, that's their policy. That's probably what they live by and stand by. Um, same well as shoppers. 
Um, I have another rack. I have four trays on here. I don't like this pork ribs. Yes, um, Oriental style spare ribs. Um, it says April the 5th. They all been dated, cut up, priced up, and dated. Same as these. These the whole sliced spare ribs. They have April the 5th on them. Same as these. April the 5th. Um, that's more pork at the bottom. It says uh, sirloin and chops. And I have some whole sliced spare ribs, small pack. Dates on those, April the 5th. And April the 5th. Again, like I was told, meat's probably cut fresh daily. I want to keep reminding y'all that through this video. So y'all won't forget the meat's probably cut fresh daily. Daily. Um, you see the meat that was right here yesterday that I had right here? It is now gone. So you know what they did with that meat. <laughs> I told you what they were going to do with it, and most likely they probably did do it. Um, don't forget that violation right here. Now this right here, that's a violation in its own. Um, you can't have meat sitting out like that. Never, ever. I'm going to bring it to the back. Um, hold on, I don't want to don't wanna get recorded because a lot of eavesdroppers and snitches. So I'm going to bring it back here to the meat cutters room where they cut the meat. Just show you that they did clean the machine but they did not properly dismantle it like this so this wheel the saw all the little screws tools down there probably be coming off that's the proper way of cleaning the meat machine I'm gonna bring you over to this grinder show you that they cleaned the grinder the grinder is cleaned you see the inside of the grinder how they cleaned it is no residue no no leftover meat in the grinder I'm gonna bring you over to the next meat slicer when they cut the pork on they did clean it they cleaned it but they did not properly dismantle it like this before it be properly dismantled and like that and broken down and clean and it was not you can still see the screws and wheels and even the saw blades still connected to the uh, machinery um again they supposed to break all that stuff down piece by piece and clean it again back here meat's probably cut fresh daily you're not supposed to have no meat sitting out like this. This is this is this is very bad. That is a clear violation. Um, I have to get myself ready to, for work. My shift today is from six to eleven. If I have anything else to document, believe I will.